we need to talk about some really cute active dresses right now. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Coming at you today with a Halara dress haul. We've talked Halara a lot here on this channel, mostly talking about their leggings, their tops, their flares, but in today's video we are solely focusing on their active dresses. This is what they're mostly known for. It was actually a couple of years ago when I saw they went viral on TikTok. So whenever I think of the brand Halara, I automatically think their active dresses. If you take a look at their website and you look at their dresses, they literally have something for everybody. So it depends on your lifestyle, what you're looking for. They even have really elegant looking dresses. You can dress up, dress down, or a little more of a sporty vibe. The Halara wannabe dress is super popular as well. It has molded cups and adjustable straps. Their wannabe collection as a whole has a ton of styles for every girl. Thank you so much to Halara for sponsoring today's video. Over here you can find my measurements. I'll also have them in the description box below. Every single dress you see in today's video will also be linked down below for your convenience. And if you see something you like, my code Ashley Gata gives you 20% off of full priced items. Do keep in mind everything in today's video is in my true size small. As you can see right behind me, we have quite a nice color selection today and a few different styles to talk about. Here we have the bar ballet dress in salsa red and the eunuch ballet dress in the color fig. The only difference between these two is the length. Now, if you check out this particular dress, you're gonna see that they have the option of regular or long, and I did both. I figure there's nothing wrong with being a little shorter, sexy, and salsa red. And then when I feel like dressing it up a bit, say I'm going to a more formal event, I wanna dress this up a bit around family or something like that, then I'll go for the longer length. Plus, two totally different colors. This is summer, hello, have fun, 4th of July. And then this one's more like fall, all right? Throw a heavy cardigan over, then you're okay. Other than that, they are the exact same thing. Over on the back, you do have a beautiful open back cutout, but you also have a twist as well. This way it mixes up the look. It gives that real bar, delicate, dainty, ballet, feminine feel. It's just a really nice fit. It's not overly tight. It, there's some room to play with, okay? And if I'm wearing it all day long, I really do appreciate that because there's a good chance I'm gonna be eating a lot. I just need some room to feast. Something I appreciate is the really thick straps. Very comfortable for all day wear. They are not adjustable, but you do have a pretty swan hook clasp right at the neckline, right in the back, so it's easy to take on and off. It's your basic U-neck, so it doesn't come too low on you. You can move around and not feel like you're hanging out anywhere. These particular dresses do not have a shelf bra. I actually think that's important because if you have really large busts, this might not be supportive for you. Hold on a second, because I have some dresses that do have a built-in shelf bra that might be better off for you. Now for my smaller chest gals, small to medium chest, this would be really good for you, all right? Now I don't really necessarily need a shelf bra. I don't need that much support. I can get away with something like this. So the bra pads are sewn separately, which is great. You have one seam breakup right around the midsection, which just adds that extra little pucker around the waist and helps it flare out beautifully. This really has a fun, twirly look at the bottom. That's the best I can come up with because this just makes me want to twirl, twirl. This just makes me want to twirl around in it. The way it's sewn and the material just offers that really pretty natural wave. The shorts are super comfortable. They don't dig in. Now I didn't do a whole lot of squatting in it and I don't really plan to work out in these dresses. They're more for casual use, but I didn't even notice any funny business while I was walking. Nothing was rolling or snapping. Just like with all of their dresses, they are a four-way stretch. You can see in the footage, they're very stretchy material, very wicking. If you happen to sweat it's great for that. It's not gonna feel like it absorbs all your sweat, where it bogs you down, feels soggy. This is a real true active dress. These do have two pockets, one on each side of the shorts. My one critique, and I don't even know if you can consider this an actual critique, but when you bend over, you really can see the shorts underneath. Again, this is because this is the regular length. The long length isn't that bad. So if that's something that matters to you, go with the longer length for sure. Okay. Introducing the Everyday Cloudful 2-in-1 Wannabe Dress. Here we have the colors fuchsia purple and grass gray green. These are pretty much the same exact dress, except there's one drastic, big, huge difference. This one is the easy on and off. We will get into that in just a second, but basically when you go to the bathroom, we've talked about this before, it gets annoying when wearing an active dress, pretty much getting naked in the stall, hoping no one's peeking at you through the crack. You know it, I've said it before. There's always pros and cons to everything, and that's a big con to wearing active dresses. This one actually has the solution built in. Just a sec though. 
Let's talk about this dress. So this is made of their everyday cloudful fabric. I know that they're known for their cloudful fabric. It is very soft, there's no doubt about that, stretchy. But the dresses I just showed you feel nearly identical, so I really can't detect a huge difference. They're both really soft and stretchy, even though these are the cloudful and those apparently weren't. Now with this dress, you have really thin straps. Again, non-adjustable. There's no open back, but you do still have a really pretty twist right back here. Now unlike the dresses you just saw, these do have a built-in shelf bra and removable bra pads, of course. I don't think any of their dresses don't have bra pads. Thank goodness. Now there is still a little flare, but it's a lot more straight than the dresses you just saw. The other ones had a really nice wave. This one's a little more straight and flat. Again, built-in shorts with two pockets on each side. The only difference, this one you have to take the entire dress down to go to the bathroom. Unless you like pull the shorts to the side. I tried doing that recently. I peed all over myself and I was in home goods and I walk <laughs> I walk out and I was like, hey, my whole bottom is just soaked in urine right now. <laughs> and on top of all of that, right? It's bad enough I had to pee my pants, literally. While I was peeing, I guess I was peeing for a long time. <laughs> There was a little girl in the stall next to me. Mind you, it was just me and her in here. That's it. And as I was peeing, she says out loud to me, Oi, you sure have to pee a lot. Fuck this. I just froze up. I was like, is she talking to me? So I look under the stall and nobody was there. I'm just kidding, it was just her. So shout out to that little girl who creeped the hell out of me. Thank you, Halara, for creating a dress where literally the back comes down. So you could just pull it down. And what's cool is it's actually still stitched into this piece from the front. I actually really like this. Let me tell you why. I've had dresses where the shorts come off completely, and I thought that was great, but then when you go to hang it up nicely in your closet, sometimes they'll get lost, and I'm like, where's the bottoms to these? So I like the way they approached this dress. It really is easy on and off for a reason. Pull it down from the back, sit on that toilet, and go, and there you go. You just do not have to piss your pants. It's amazing. I do want to make note really quick on these colors. Now, this is a fuchsia purple. You can see there's a very nice vibrancy to it. It's a tinge of purple in there, but from my eyes, Eyes, it looks mostly hot pink. So it's more on the pink side than the purple. Grass gray green, it really is just like an olive green. Very pretty for the fall time. Some Barbie pink <laughs> and some fall time green. Speaking of Barbie pink, who saw the movie? Comment down below, what were your thoughts? Did you enjoy it? I have yet to see it, but on my birthday, I did go see Talk To Me. That was nuts. You're in for a freaky, freaky time. This green dress actually has a white elastic band sitting underneath the bust. I'm assuming it's there for some supportive reasons, but I really can't say it's a shelf bra because it's not. It, a shelf bra actually floats, and then you have layers of material on top. This one does not. It's just an elastic band sewn in. I have to look at my computer because I cannot remember these words. We're looking at the Cloudful Fabric Square Neck Corset Backless two in one side pocket mini flare casual dress. This is in the color warm mid blue. So it's definitely a muted blue, very pretty. Just like the name implies, it's a corset style design. So right in the mid section here, you do have some seams that mimic a corset. Out of all of these dresses, this is the one dress that hugs my body the most. It doesn't really flare out. There's some wiggle room, don't get it twisted. But it doesn't really have that twirl, that dainty feel. This is a little more body fit. I'm not totally into a body fit dress unless I'm really dressing up and I have an occasion. Other than that, if I'm wearing a casual dress, like say to the fair, which I did wear that pink one to the fair, I really don't want things that hug. Just like the green dress I showed you, this one also has that white elastic band sewn internally underneath the bust. So it's there for extra support. You do have very thin straps up top, non-adjustable. Keep in mind, none of these dresses have adjustable straps, none of them, but they all do have removable bra pads. Now you do have your built-in shorts. Unlike the other dresses with two pockets, this only has the one. They just did not want to spring for that second pocket. Now this does have a nice wide square neck. Now there's more of a chance when you walk around in this dress that as you walk, it will slowly ride up your hips just simply because the fabric is so close to your body. Whereas the flared versions, okay, they're not going anywhere. So that's why I find these to be far more comfortable for all day wear. This one's just a little too tight for me. Honestly, with these dresses, they are made for an active lifestyle, obviously. Now, am I weight training in these? No, I don't weight train in dresses, I just don't. But tennis, golf, ballet, 
<laughs> you can do all of those things. And the biggest takeaway that I appreciate is that these shorts do not dig in. There's nothing I hate more than having a super comfy, cute, casual active dress and then the shorts just ruin the whole thing because they're sausaging you in. Overall, with their sizing, they're very consistent. It's not like I wore one dress that felt super tight in a size small, and then another one felt really baggy in a size small. They're very consistent like that. As you can see from the footage, you might be able to see it actually. I do have a little bit of room in these dresses. Am I comfortable with my size small? Yes, I am. Again, I am planning just to wear these dresses casually for all day wear. I wouldn't want it to be any tighter around my thighs. I'm very finicky like that. So I'm comfortable with my true size small. However, I do think if you're in between and you really don't want extra room, you want more of a skin tight body fit feel, then you can get away with sizing down completely. Out of all of these dresses, I do believe that the fuchsia pink is my favorite. Simply because you can take off the bottoms. I think from here on out, this is the style dress I'm gonna gravitate towards. So let me know, comment down below, have you tried any of their dresses out or any of their other pieces? So let me know your thoughts below. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you and I will catch you in my next video.